Greeting everyone, myself Prashant Gupta. Today we are going to talk about the search filter display in the multi-domain MBM Fender 4. The agenda for today's session is a quick overview, then the search order setup, like what are the configurations we need to do from the provisioning tool. The configuration which we do, it stores in which particular configuration table at the database site, followed by a oh, quick demo. Overview. So smart search is actually a terminology which gives a platform where we can do the search in the NTT 360 UI interface. So as you can see in the image, in the right hand side, this is a text box where we can do the search. And in the result section, we have a filters, right? So in this filter section, the like previously to 10.4, all the columns which are defined under the particular view will actually get displayed. Now coming from MVM 10.4 release, so we have a new feature where we can actually do the ordering or we can actually choose what are the columns we actually need as per our business setup. And on these filters, we can put all the relevant like filter co combinations and can click on apply to refine the results as well. Next, we have search order setup. So whatever this new feature which we have in MDM 10.4, how we can actually configure it. So to do so, so first we need to log in under the provisioning tool and go to this configuration tab. Under the configuration tab, we have applications. So whatever this search filter is, we are configuring that is specific on the application level. Okay. So under the application, whatever the E360 application which we have created, so you will see a search configuration layer. Under the search co configuration, you can define whatever the particular business entities. Let's say I want to configure on person business entity. I can choose the person business entity from the drop down. Okay. Like this, we can configure on all the particular business entities, whatever we have. Now let's take a, an example. Let's say I have a person business entity and from this person view, I just want to configure only the specific columns. Okay. So it, I can just click on this edit pencil tab and I can choose whatever the columns I'm looking for. Okay. So these all columns are specifically on a business entity and on a specifically the person view, the view level. So by default, if I don't choose anything, so all the columns, whatever I have configured under the person view, that is at the parent along with child, all are going to get displayed. But if my business stands like they are only looking for some specific column, then I can choose only the ones which I'm looking for. So these whole configurations is specific to the application level and can be done from the provisioning tool. Next, we have a configuration table like whatever the configurations which we are doing under the provisioning tool, it is actually going to store at the database side. So this database, like sometimes if the UI, like if the URLs are not accessible and if we want to see what are like, what is the uh, order, what we have configured into the E360 UI. So we can go to the database and we can just fire a query, select star from C report component instance. And you will see like whatever the application which you have created under this row. So MDM sample application, and under the config data, if you just double click, since it's a block like containing a XML, so you will see this is the XML coming up. So here you can see the search config tab. So search config will be going to store whatever the filtering order which you have defined under the provisioning tool. So as you can see that, so my like the BE view mapping is person view, and this is defined on the person business entity. And I am having these all particular filter columns, which is in this specific order. So like once you do the changes into the provisioning tool, the uh, like configuration is going to store into this particular table and we can view it from here as well. Next, we have a demo. So let's see on our local environment. So here is my local MVM vendor port environment and this is the NTT 360 UI page. Okay, let me just quickly log in up. So once I log in, so here you can see my MDM sample is my application. And this is the place where we do the quick smart search. Let's take a keyword, say David, and I'm just doing the search on personal business entity. So here my search results are being displayed. And in the left hand side, so it is going to list down all the searchable columns, which are marked as filterable. And these columns which you see, like uh, it is coming in a random order. We cannot have any sort of control over it. This was specifically to previous to the release of MDM Tender 4. 
Now with the NBM 10 report, let's see how we can control it. Okay. So now I'm coming back to the provisioning tool and I'm just logging in. So once I log in, I just need to choose what ORS I want to configure. I will go to the configuration application editor and click on the MBM sample. So once I like click on the MBM sample, I will be able to see the search configuration. And if I click on the particular person, this is an entity. So this is the place like filter display order. This is the new component which is being added up in tender four branch. Okay. So I can click on the like uh, this pencil tab and I can choose what columns I am looking for. Let's say I'm interested in first name, display name, and say from child I have electron e like emails dot electronic address and say address sign one. So and last one say party type. Okay, so these five columns I'm just choosing up out of all the columns what we have. Now if I can just click on okay, uh, apply, and just do the publish. So these all particular columns now will be going to get portrayed into the E360 UI whenever we do any sort of search. Okay, so now my configurations are being saved. I will just quickly log out from here. Coming back to the E360 UI. Okay, uh, let me just log in back. So once I log in, so I'm just going to do perform the same thing what we have done before. I will just click on the search on David and we'll see. Okay, so previously, if you notice, like all the columns were coming up, but now we have just only the columns which we have configured under the provisioning tool. Okay, so let me just quickly show like uh, what the columns we have. So we have party with, with the first name, display name, electronic address, name, and the party type. And same columns, if you just quickly try to compare, right? So over here, person, see, these are the five columns, and it is in the same order what it is coming inside the a360 UI filter section. Okay, so this is the new feature which we have, and we can control the filter behavior in what the business wants. Uh, just to add one more thing, like uh, if I click on the name, so this is just the label what I have configured for the address line one. Okay, so this is coming from the addresses address address line one, and same under the provisioning two, like uh, this is the address line one, but if I go to the modeling and click on the business entities person so here you can see that address is 21 address click on the fields and we have address line one yeah so this is the name which is getting reflected into the name section that suffix well now coming back to the slide so next we have upgrade scenario so if any customer is upgrading from say 10.2 or 10.3 to 10 4 so how the behavior is going to happen so let's say if we are going to upgrade from some earlier version so whatever the default order like what was uh, coming up in the existing application that is going to get reflected into the e360 ui but after the upgrade to 10.4 so we can choose like whatever the columns which we are looking for in a specific order so that we have the configuration change we can do okay uh, just to add up like uh, if you are looking for any sort of more information then that's the reference url where you can go to and have the necessary information as well that's all we have thank you so much